What's up everyone? I hope all of you are doing great. And right now we are here at Frankfurt International Airport, Germany. And we are here on a four hour layover while waiting for our final destination flight to Dallas, Texas. So while waiting para hindi masayang yung oras, gusto ko na encourage kayo na paano ba ma-reach yung goals natin sa buhay. Actually, in terms of uh, goals, if you wanna be excellent in life, if you wanna know what you're gonna do, you should have a certain goals that you should be uh, working on and you know, just achieving every step of the way. Kasi kung wala kang goal sa buhay, it's like kaya sira-sira, hindi mo alam kung saan ka tutungo, hindi mo alam kung saan ka pupunta. So kailangan, para hindi masayang yung oras mo, katulad nga ngayon, ayaw na yung masayang oras namin sa airport, ganun din sa buhay. In general, kung ayaw mong masayang yung oras mo, kailangan meron kang patutunguhan, meron kang certain goals that you wanna achieve, that you are inspired, that it's gonna drive you, it's gonna inspire, it's gonna motivate you to achieve your goals and achieve more in life. I believe God has so much in store for us in this generation, especially us. We have everything. We all have the technology and all. But it's up to us on how are we gonna offensively, you know, follow our goals. So, ngayon, gusto ko lang kayong encourage at uh, pag-aralan natin, ano ba yung smart goals? Kasi sabi nila, it's not about working hard right now. It's about being smart. Because kung nagtatrabaho lang tayo, siguro ang pinakamayayaman na tao ngayon, yung mga construction worker, yung mga nagtatrabaho sa millennial jobs, because they are very hard working, right? But if you wanna really be something and get ahead in life, you have to learn to be smart. And meron akong nabasa na if in order to be smart, uh, isa-isahin natin yung acronym ng SMART in terms of achieving your goals. Yung una, kailangan specific yung goals mo. Hindi dapat vague, hindi ambiguous, hindi uh, general. Kung gusto nyong ma-achieve ang goals mo, hindi dapat na like, gusto ko lang yumaman. How are you gonna achieve kung paano ba yumaman, di ba? O kaya gusto kong magkaroon ng job. Anong klaseng job yung gusto mo? Kailangan specific. Kailangan alam mo na you're gonna do everything. You're gonna fight for your dreams. You're gonna fight for your goals. You're gonna fight for your vision. Because that's the one thing that you wanna achieve and you wanna dream for that and work on that vision in your life. Sabi sa Bible, uh, without vision, people perish. And many people are perishing and dying without even achieving their goals. So, kailangan, unang-una, sabi ko nga sa inyo, you have to be specific. Let's say, kung gusto mo yung maman, okay, magkano yung gusto mo kitain? Kung gusto mo ng trabaho, anong klaseng trabaho yung gusto mo? Kung gusto mo mag-travel, saan mo gusto pumunta? With a certain time, right? Okay, yung pangalawa, it should be measurable. Meron ako nabasa, you cannot manage it if you cannot measure it. So, kailangan calculable, cal nakakalculate mo na maayos lahat-lahat ng mga mga bagay-bagay pa to achieve your goals. Kailangan, meron kang step-by-step plan, step-by-step -step process, calculation mo, may nakalaang uh, budget, may nakalaang pera. Okay, for example, gusto mo mag-travel papunta sa US, for instance, kailangan may budget ka sa flight, may budget ka sa food, may budget ka sa allowance mo, pang shopping mo, and all. So you should measure everything. Okay, if you want to have a business, for instance, anong klaseng business? Let's say, restaurant business. Anong klaseng restaurant business? Let's say, uh, fast food chain, for example. Okay, magkano ba yung capital na i-prepare mo? You have to count the cost. You have to measure everything. So that's very, very important in terms of achieving your goal. Let's go to A. A should be achievable. Achievable, it means that are you having the right amount of resources? Is it really up to your skills? Are you learning a lot in terms of, uh, you know, uh, gaining the knowledge in achieving your goals? Kaya mo ba? Kaya mo ba talaga? Meron ka bang connection? May mga tao ka bang tutulong sa'yo para mag-fund ng resource para ma-achieve mo yung goals mo? Let's say meron kang 
1,000 pesos lang tapos gusto mong magtayo ng restaurant is, is that achievable? Hindi, di ba? So you have to count the cost. And actually, kung titingnan mo, magkakakonekta lang lahat yan. Next, R. R stands for relevant. Kailangan, if you're passionate and you love doing something, let's say, for, for example, I'm an engineer. I love mathematics. I love engineering. I love sciences, engineering sciences. So yun, I'm pursuing the goal I'm learning a lot. That's my passion. That's why I have a value in the market in terms of that. So, kung ang skill nyo is not relevant to your passion, so you have to think twice. Because people who love what they're doing, they're just like playing. Right? Para lang silang naglalaro. Nag-enjoy sila. Kumikita pa sila ng pera. Alam mo yun, nagagawa nila kung anong gusto nila. And they're very productive and they can multiply exponentially. They can just, you know, radically change the world because of their passion. And the last a letter is a letter T, which should be time-based. If you have a project, it should be timeline. You have a timeline. Meron kang, uh, let's say, gusto mong makareach ng 100,000 bucks, for example, in one year. So how are you gonna achieve that? You should have a timeline, one year. So step by step, paano ko ba ma-achieve to? Okay, mag work ako overtime. Okay, uh, magkakaroon ako ng side jobs. Alright, mag-online mag, uh, uh, tutorial ako or mag-online na uh, uh, like, alam mo yon iba-ibang klase nga side, side lights on, online. Paid to click or like uh, job online and all these kinds of things. You will do everything to achieve your goal of that 100,000. Just uh, giving you some example. Actually, it's like you can dream and envision life with everything and achieve it like achieving it like a project. Okay? I mean, actually, masaya lang mag-share yung mga natutunan namin sa, sa buhay namin. And I, I hope that all of you as well will be encouraged and will just achieve your goal passionately, diligently, with all your endurance and perseverance. And I believe God's gonna bless and reward your persistence in achieving your goal. So, all right. So that's it, and I hope you keep on uh, uh, listening to what uh, we are, uh, you know, what inspirations that we're giving you. And please don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. See you around.